Hi everyone, so today I want to talk about the gram array notation. So as the name suggests, it is, uh, it is a notation specifically designed to express grams number accurately. So remember, um, first of all, if you try to represent grams number using the regular up arrow notation, it will look something like this. So it might look kind of messy or you know complicated. So you start at the bottom, three, four arrows, three, and then the next level would be three with this number of threes, uh, I mean with this number of arrows, three. So when you continue that for 64 levels, this is how you represent grams number in terms of up arrows. But again, this is kind of messy. And another way to, you know, try to represent grams number is, of course, the chain arrow notation. But however, again, it's not precise. So Gram's number G64 is somewhere between 3, arrow 3, arrow 64, arrow 2, and 3, 3, 65, 2. So it's not accurate. Gram's number is between this. It's bigger than this, but smaller than this. However, it's much closer than this, than this. So that's why people try to invent a new notation to represent grams number easily and quickly and that's how they get to this notation so it's very straightforward it's basically uh just four terms i believe um it hasn't get any extension yet so it's a b c d in this format so for example um again it kind of looks like other array notation or even slightly similar to the chain arrow notation so again a in a bracket it just means a so three in a bracket means three very straightforward and if you put two terms bracket a and b it means a arrow b that means a to the power of b so for example three three which means three up arrow three means three to the three means 27 again very straightforward so if you have three terms a, b, c here in a bracket, then it means a with c number of up arrows b. So in this case, three, three, three bracket would mean three with three arrows three. So this is three triple arrow three. Very straightforward again. And lastly, with four terms, a, b, c, d bracket, it means a, so you, again, you start at the bottom over here so again you can see it's the same format as grams number using the up arrow notation so a with you start with a with c up arrows b and then the next level would be a with this number of arrows b and then you continue this process for d number of levels so as you can now clearly see that grams number it's equal to three three four sixty four raised or forward because you start with three with four up arrows, three, right? And then you repeat this for 64 levels. That's why is grams number is exactly equal to three, three, four, sixty-four. So unlike chain arrow, grams number is you know is kind of like an upper bound and a lower bound, is in between these two numbers. But grams array notation is exactly this. It's not a bound, it's not in between something, it's exactly this. So very precise. And then let's look at some more examples. So G1 would be 3341. Very straightforward. G2 would be 3342. G3, 3343. And then for example, G63 would be 33463. G65 would be 33465. So in this case, uh, the G sequence of grams number GN would be equal to 334N. So one more example G of a Google would be 334 a Google. And if you want to try something crazy like G of G64, it will be 334 G64, obviously. But of course, if you don't want to use something that has a G in it, let's say you wanted to use small integers in your brackets, then of course you can write this this way. So 334 and then 33464. There's a bracket over here because this number here is equal to G64. So that's how, there's another way to write this thing over here. And then let's look at a few more. So little gram, the original grams number, of course, is two, three, twelve, seven. And then the con, I mean gram Conway number will be four, 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 sixty-four. 
It's a very straightforward, a very precise, accurate, and quick way to represent Graham's number or any other big numbers related to the GE sequence. And um, but I think the author uh, only invented for four terms, A, B, C, D. What if you want to make some extension? So what, let's say you can easily add one more term at the end and make it much bigger, grows much faster. So A, B, C, D, E. So for example, and again, this is, I just make this up myself and kind of just show you how you can create a big number or a quickly, a fast growing function by yourself. So let's say, your example would be three, three, four, sixty-four, five. So what does this mean? Well, again, I make this up so it can easily be G G G G G sixty-four. So again, let's look at here. So three, three, four, sixty-four with just four terms is Graham's number, right? So if you add a five, if a fifth term at the end, it just means the number of G's. Again, I make this up myself. So another way to write this is something like this so g564 it means there are five g's over here again this number is way 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 bigger than something like this or this you know because this is only gg64 with two g's but if you write it this way at a fifth term then you can easily um you know kind of a, a shortcut way to make even bigger numbers and then if you put G64 for your fifth term, then it means there's like G, 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 G with G64 number of Gs. So this number, this thing over here equals to G of G64, 64. So another way to write this is something like this. And of course, you don't, you don't have to end it here. You can add even a sixth term. So this is kind of similar to the Conway chain arrow notation, similar growth rate. So your example would be three, three, four, sixty-four, five, two, something like that. And the sixth term, the two over here, it means, you know, um, so this number you kinda become your new uh, number of iteration for your G. So you, this one will be equal to something like this. Um or this over here. So basically this is the number of G's you have to write for this crazy function over here and then of course you don't have to stop you can change it to three or even g64 in this case this thing over here represent the number of iteration by itself so two here means you know you, you kind of do it like do this like two times g64 means you have to do it for g64 number of times for this thing so it's just a iteration you know uh, recursion and then, of course, you can even add a seventh term, G, so maybe something like that. And in this case, um, I mean, if you, this thing, you can, another way to write it is maybe something like this. Some This time you go downward instead of upward. So if G64 number of levels over here, then you can just write G of G64 of 64. But your seventh term would mean, <laughs> you know, the number of Gs you have to go down in this time. So eventually, of course, you, this, you know, there's never ending. You can even write a eighth term or ninth term or tenth term or even G64 number of terms. So in this case, you know, if you try to imagine how big your numbers is going to be with G64 number of terms. Again, with just five terms is already way, 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 way bigger than Graham's number. And at a seven term, again, unimaginably, unimaginably bigger. And now try not 10 terms or not even Google terms. Try 364 number of terms. And of course, again, you don't have to stop there. You can even uh, substitute the number of terms with this number over here. So the next step will be kind of uh, this uh, crazy, insane number would be the number of terms itself. So try imagining your number, how big, you know, or how fast would, would it grow. But one mind blowing thing to tell you is that doesn't matter how many times you do this, even you know, even if I use this crazy number as the number of terms over here, it's still nowhere near three three. That's just how big three three is. Um so this is how you make big numbers, but still using even something like this, it you will never reach three three. Is three three is just crazy. So anyway, this is uh, my video on the grams array notation. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.